So with Windows 11, a few things have changed. In the previous video, we looked at the out-of-box experience to see how that had changed. And in this one, we're going to take a look at Autopilot to see how that experience has changed both for the setting up and for the end user receiving the device. If we jump to my virtual machine that we set up in the previous video, I've sysprepped it so it's ready to go from the out-of-box experience right now. So we should just be able to choose start and continue. Okay, so from here, I'm going to just grab the autopilot information via the script, put it into the tenant, and then we can test our autopilot. So function shift F10 for me. And oh, we get the um, UAC. I haven't seen that before. So it's asking if we want to elevate um, to the uh, use out of box experience, create elevated object server, choose yes. So we're into a command prompt, which is good. So we'll just go into PowerShell and uh, and here we're just going to grab that autopilot information and put it straight into the tenant. So we'll run install script get dash windows autopilot info and press yes to the path change. Yes to the new get provider and yes to the entrusted repo. Give this a few seconds to download and then we can run get dash windows autopilot info online so this uh, the online uh, tag essentially makes it so that it can push this um, autopilot info directly into your tenant rather than giving you a CSV file that you would then download and then copy over to the to the tenant and upload it that way and Michael Nee has in in his description of why this was put in was that it was it was made available purely because people were doing much worse things to get this information into the tenant so it's now been made sort of supported by this script as you can see it's asking me to log in um, to the tenant so I can can't type while I'm uh, speaking so I won't and then it goes away and connects to the tenant and then imports the device into that tenant for us. This only takes 15, 20 seconds to do from my experience. So what we'll do is head over to the portal and see that it gets added to the portal. So uh, this is my autopilot profile here, cloud only is the one we're going to do because hybrid, as if, you, if you've seen my previous videos, you know hybrid is awful. Um, cloud only is much better so we're going to do cloud only for now and uh, back into devices and enroll devices and then devices you should see five devices now rather than the four we had in the previous videos and um, one of them is not assigned so that means it's it's connected it's put that device in there for us this will take a little while to assign the profile to so what we're going to do is wait a little while while that happens. I'll um, I'll also wait for the VM to finish what it's doing and give that a reboot so that it's ready to do autopilot stuff in the future. Um, I think that's it for now. I'll just leave this to to do that and uh, I'll I'll check back in fifteen twenty minutes. So I'll speed this bit up for you. Okay, so I left that a little while and just hit refresh and it has synced which is great news. So now we're just over to the virtual machine. Uh, I said I would um, do this, but I got distracted. So uh, it's simply a case of closing all this down and, and rebooting it. So we'll just do shut down here with a reboot and get it rebooting. Okay, so we've got the familiar now Windows 11 screen to, um, to welcome us. Let's just see what's changed from the previous video, which was just a standard out of box experience. I think in Windows 10 when you do autopilot, cloud only autopilot at least, it it sort of says uh, we've got uh, some updates for you, we're going to make some changes, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and it reboots just like this did. So that's that seems to be working well. Okay, good. Um, it didn't warn us of that. It just, just sort of rebooted and, and said just a moment, which is neat. Okay, so it says let's set things up for your work or school. And the Get Modern logo is there. Admittedly, it looks a bit rubbish at the moment. Uh, it wasn't designed for this at all. 
and uh, it's asking us to sign in. So that's good. Let's we'll get Lucy to sign in again, just to see what the experience looks like. Expecting to do a um, authenticator quest here, actually. Oh, something went wrong. Ah, this device is already enrolled, so it is. Uh, we did that last time, didn't we? Um, okay, so what I'm going to do now is, off camera, I'm going to go and create a new virtual machine that hasn't already been enrolled in the tenant, and we'll get straight back to this screen, uh, and that's where you'll pick me up. Okay, so for you, that was probably about 15 to 20 seconds. For me, that was half an hour of intense clicking to get back to this stage. So here we are. It's uh, now doing the autopilot, hopefully doing the autopilot experience for this user who's just about to log in. I expect it's going to say checking for updates and then do a reboot. So we'll give that a few seconds to do the reboot. Apologies for the repetition, but that's how it goes in live, live-ish recordings. Okay, yeah, so it's just gone down for a reboot. It's coming back up in a few seconds, so we'll jump back to that screen. And as you can see, hopefully we'll get the login screen again so Lucy can try and log in. At some point Lucy's going to be told she can't enroll any more devices because constantly the only person enrolling devices in this organisation. Okay, back to this Get Modern branded sign-in screen. Lucy will just log in. Okay, so what we're expecting here is that it won't tell us that this device has already been enrolled and we'll um, we'll see what the experience is like. So please wait while we set up your device. The familiar thing we get, it's written slightly differently as you can see there. It's It put it on the right hand side and made it more sort of, well it's slightly different. It had a, a picture of some books or something on the left hand side I think. So a little bit different. Um, right, and this one, so it asked me now to to switch over to the RDP version of the VM thing and that really means it's pretty much there isn't it um, so so that is interesting uh, as you can see we've now got to the the hello um, screen so here we're gonna have to set up our hello pin and prove the multi-factor authentication request for Lucy um, choose a pin and that's done. Okay, so I think I know what's happened here, and this may be because I'm doing a lot of videos right now, but in one of the previous videos to troubleshoot hybrid autopilot, I deployed a device-based uh, configuration profile to remove the user enrollment status page. And what we saw with this demonstration just here is that Lucy didn't get any enrollment status page at all. So that seems to have worked. Um, I mean, the experience wasn't that bad. That that seems to have done. Uh, that seems to have done what we needed. It got Lucy into the machine relatively quickly. It doesn't. Weirdly, it doesn't have Office, and I wonder if that's what was downloading when it said it needed to do some updates and downloaded some stuff in the previous video when we were watching it do some things. Um, but it doesn't have Office. I wonder if Office is installing now. Interesting. Okay. We'll just quickly check the version to compare it against the version that we did um, in the previous video. So, yeah, 22.0.0.1. So this, is, um, this isn't as up-to-date as the version that we did in the previous video where we just used the out-of-box experience. It must have done some updates during that out-of-box experience um, manual installation, manual login that we did um, rather than the autopilot one so that's so that is interesting uh, let's see what else it's doing so it did say that it's installed the Intune management extension which is good news and uh, I can't really see what else it's doing I guess Ooh, I am foiled by the right click on the taskbar to get the um, to get the task manager you have to right click on start now in Windows 11 um, Let's see if it's downloading anything. So it's, it's downloading something, uh, clearly. So we'll give it a few seconds to download, see what it downloads. But I'm pretty comfortable that this is has worked from a, uh, an autopilot perspective. And I'm, yeah, I love the changes that have been made. 
So I'm going to let that install in the background and I'll maybe put a, a post in the comment section to let you know what did actually download and install. I've got a feeling it's going to be Office because I think we've deployed that to all users. Um, but that's it for this video. I hope that it's been useful to you. Please hit the like button and I'll see you next time.